Grizzlies. Grizzlies. I'm Vincent Tapia. I'm Janae Hernandez. And these are your morning announcements. But first, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now let's go to Brianna Cornejo for a look at today's weather. Hi, I'm here with everyone's favorite teacher, Mr. Monti. So tell us one fact about yourself. I'm a teacher here at Godinas High School. Awesome. <laughs> weather today is in the mid-90s with a cool breeze. And for this weekend, in the low 80s, perfect weather for a perfect homecoming night. Candlelit dinners on the beach. If you guys do it right, come on. It's great weather for this weekend. Now back to you, Janae. Thanks, Brianna. Hey, Bruce. Don't be haunted by regret. Come to the Grizzly Lounge Halloween Costume Contest. Your costume will be judged based on quality, creativity, and effort on October 31st at 3.30 p.m. outside the Teen Center. Check out our Instagram at JFHS Lounge for rules and information. Homecoming tickets. Homecoming tickets are now $25 with ASB card and $35 without until today, October 25th. Seniors, the ACT test is this Saturday. If you are signed up, make sure you print your admission ticket and take your school ID. Now that's it for today, Grizzlies. Have a great weekend and don't forget to go to the homecoming game. Yeah, you go. Now we're going to take Have a great weekend. And don't forget to go to the homecoming game. Bye, Grizzlies. Do you know what Pink Ribbon Club is? Yes. Do you know what Pink Ribbon Club is? No. Do you know what Pink Ribbon Club is? Yes. Yeah, go. Do you know what Pink Ribbon Club is? Nah. Pink Ribbon Club isn't one of the most well-known clubs. Having just found a new advisor, they hosted their first meeting last Wednesday, so we decided to get a closer peek into the club and interview their president, Catherine Palayo. I'm Vincent Tapia. And I'm Catherine Palayo. So what is Pink Ribbon Club? Um, in Pink Ribbon Club, we raise awareness for breast cancer patients and other cancer patients, and we also do a lot of fundraisers. Can you tell me more about those fundraisers? Our most popular fundraiser is a pink football game, and then we do pennies for patients. Um, and we also do the Ronald McDonald walk. So who's the new advisor? Mr. Montai. Anything else you'd like to add? Join us on Wednesday after school in Mr. Montai's room, room 2204 and we're pink. Their first meeting had a great turnout, so we decided to interview one of the people who attended to see what they thought about it. How was the meeting today? Well, the meeting was very interesting because they told me how um, this club could help my college application and how um, there's different events that are fun and that we can contribute to um, patients. And why are you joining Pink Ribbon Club? Well, I'm joining Pink Ribbon Club because I saw it last year. Um, during a football game when they were selling and um, I think that it would be a really fun thing to join. Pink Ribbon Club meets on Wednesdays after school in Mr. Monti's room, room 2204. Meetings start at 3 p.m. I'm Emily Lopez and I'm Chris Diaz and we are the Try Gals. Have you ever wondered how many different types of milks there are? Well in recent years people have been drinking more alternative milks. So we took it to the test and we asked some of our fellow Grizzlies what type of milk they preferred and these were the results. What type of milk do you drink? I drink 2%. I drink 2% Regular whole milk. 2% milk? I don't drink any milk, I'm lactose intolerant. So after Chris and I discovered all that information we decided to see what all the hype was about. We took a little trip to the store and got our you guys' favorite milk. Let's get some milk! we got. We obviously all know what regular whole milk tastes like, so we're not going to try it. We all oh, it smells good. Mm -hmm. oh, it doesn't. It smells like cardboard. 
Cheers. Yo. It tastes, like it, like, it tastes like water. Yeah, it tastes like water with, with almonds. It's true what people have been saying. This is not milk, it's, it's almond juice. Oh, this one smells really good. It does. It tastes like water again. Mm -mm. So my verdict is not so delicious. Wow, this is really good milk. I like it. It tastes like that. It smells like oats. It smells like dog food, not gonna lie. It tastes like really un it tastes like unflavored oatmeal. That's what it tastes like. So if you're an almond lover, this one would be perfect for you. Personally I'd give this a like a two. Probably I'd give, a one. I'd give it a one just because it tastes like pure water. It doesn't give me that milk vibe, you know? Next is the organic coconut milk. I'd give this a two. Maybe a one. I'd give it a two. Next, we have oat milk. Oh, I'd give this a four or five. It wasn't my favorite. I think I'd give it a four. Last but not least, the winner. The soy milk by Silk. Um, it actually has a like a strong flavor compared to the rest of these. Mm -hmm. I rate it a eight. An eight, yeah, eight nine. This is the move. That um, based on all the taste testing, I think we're gonna stick with the normal milk. So for all my lactose intolerant people, soy milk is the move. If you guys enjoyed watching our video. Comment down any more suggestions for our next Try Gala Edition video. From the Grizzly News Network, this is Emily Lopez and Crystal Diaz signing out. Bye. Bye.